Hi, and welcome to the Library 2035 Imagining the Next Generation of Libraries webcast series. My name is Sandy Hirsch, and I am the editor of this book. I am pleased to host this webcast series featuring several of the book's contributing authors who will share their vision for libraries over the next decade. Today, I welcome Dr. Sue Allman, author of Chapter 24, Immersive and Virtual Technologies, the Future of Libraries. Dr. Allman is a lecturer in the San Jose State University School of Information, where she teaches a course, The Emerging Future, Technology Issues and Trends. Throughout Chapter 24, Dr. Allman highlights her vision of the future and emphasizes the dynamic changes that technology and virtual services will have on that future. While we may not be able to predict what technologies will exist in 2035, uh, we know that libraries will continue to connect the community to the technologies they need or want to effectively learn, work, engage, create, and collaborate. Throughout her chapter, Dr. Allman encourages librarians to adopt foresight planning and technological preparedness strategies to prepare for the future. Welcome, Dr. Sue Allman. Thank you so much, Sandy. It's a pleasure to be here. I am so excited to talk to you today about your vision. And so I'd like to start our conversation by asking you to describe what you think the future of libraries in 2035 will look like. Well, that's a tall order. Um, there are many dramatic new possibilities for information professionals to be proactive, adaptive, and collaborative. Libraries can be transformed with AI applications and virtual services with holographic technology. Just think of the possibilities. By combining foresight strategies with technological preparedness, ethical considerations, and a commitment to innovation, we can contribute to shaping a positive and impactful future. In reality, the resources and services of libraries will continue to support the education and recreation of all the users. And these users include children, students in um, elementary, secondary, higher education, faculty, young families, older adults, and those who are unhoused, and lots of people in between. Libraries will continue to have brick and mortar buildings for their communities, but there will be a substantial increase in virtual services. Although there will not be a full implementation of the technological capabilities, librarians or perhaps avatars will be able to provide assistance and resources to users. Ultimately, many situations will impact what the library in 2035 will look like. It will be world events, societal changes, environmental issues, technological in innovations, and as always, funding. Um, I've got some concerns about what will impact libraries in the next 15 years. Library resources and services can help to bridge the digital divide and provide users with the means to extend their learning. I'm most concerned that libraries and information centers of all types, academic, school, public, need to be utilized by more people. The profession needs to market more effectively to their communities in order to obtain support and engage in collective projects, collaborative projects, I'm sorry. Um, it's an exciting time to be in this profession and to be involved with libraries. Information professionals are champions of intellectual freedom, information literacy, and new technologies. With effective leadership, Libraries can be at the forefront of all different kinds of possibilities, generative AI, and we can provide our communities with the technological skills needed to maneuver in the 2035 landscape. This is a profession that can make profound changes to advance technology and to be strong advocates for the freedom to read, to think, and to learn. Um, in the last few years, I think the biggest impact on libraries has been COVID. It has forced libraries to move all their services online and in a hurry. Librarians have been resourceful. They've learned quickly. They've taught their users uh, where they were required to learn to use and access new and different technologies. 
Now, many librarians and users prefer these new delivery methods. So libraries are providing both virtual and in-person services. Looking ahead, um, I think the biggest impact on libraries until 2035 is going to be an increase in digital services for materials, programming, and instruction. Information professionals will need to adapt to new and changing roles. Also, we all need to understand our communities and the technologies that are appropriate for those communities. Since I wrote this chapter, um, I've thought about what I wrote um, and if I would make any changes. Well, I've had some time to take a retrospective look at the ways that access to information has changed. In the late 1980s, I was teaching at the University of Michigan, and I was asked to develop a new course in access to information. Uh, computers and laptops were just coming into a more wide acceptance. And so uh, I was looking at the ways that people were using them. In the last 35 years, the landscape has changed with new technologies, but many of the same basic issues remain and I believe will continue to remain. There are information poor and information rich individuals that we now refer to as the digital divide. Uh, there are licensing issues that we need to work out with publishers and always as funding. Uh, for the next 10 years, I think that information professionals need to keep current with the new technologies, understand the global issues that impact those technologies, and practice strategic forecasting techniques as we plan for the future. In order to do this, we need to focus on the publications that uh, are involved with the new technologies and the people who are technologically astute in order to pro provide the best experiences for our users. And I think that in order to better prepare for the future, we need to plan strategically. We need to be aware of the environment of the organization and the community that we're in. We need to understand the needs of these groups, determine what resources and services are in demand, and then conduct a backwards design or scenario planning. Look to see where we want to be in the next few years and then determine how we're going to get there by planning backwards. So I think uh, using the different forecasting techniques that Dr. Hirsch mentioned at the beginning, um, are things that we really need to pay attention to. And I think that uh, as information professionals, we need to pay close attention to the ALA CORE's 14 competencies. Among these include communication, marketing, and advocacy. These are things I think are key always, uh, not just for the new library of the future, but now and with the new technologies. Plus, we need to be flexible, changing with uh, funding with the new technologies. We saw that we did that uh, when COVID came. We need to be informed of what the new technologies are. We need to be proactive and not react to things. And we need to be able to partner with other organizations and institutions so that we can be ready to handle the new technologies of 2035 and the needs of our users. Thank you so much, Sue. That was a really great uh, synopsis of your thinking around the future of libraries in 2035 and also really helpful ways that we can be preparing ourselves and developing the appropriate competencies that we can all thrive and succeed in the future as well. I have a one last question for you um, that I know is, is a tricky one. Um, I'm challenging um, all of the contributors to the book to please define your view of the future of libraries in just six words. So and how I'm would so, you do that? <laughs> I'm so glad you gave me a little bit of uh, time I had to think about this. Uh, so getting it to six words, I will say them clearly and slowly, leaderships 
technological strategies will benefit society? Leadership's technical strategies will benefit society. Mm -hmm. That's great. And that's what that's I hard. <laughs> that's a great way to um, leave our uh, session today. So I'd like to thank Dr. Sue Wallman for joining me today. And thank you also for your contribution to Library 2030 and 35, Imagining the Next Generation of Libraries. Thank you. Uh, it was a, a challenge to think ahead. <laughs> But I think we'll be able to do it collectively if we learn how to uh, look toward the future. Thank you so much. And thank you to you for uh, attending this webcast with Dr. Suwaman, author of Chapter 24, Immersive and Virtual Technologies, The Future of Libraries. To view additional author webcasts from this Library 2035 webcast series, please visit the link or use the QR code on your screen. Thank you again.